Oh, that's going to be loud. First rocket is an, a Hyperlock Revenge by Brian Sparkman. It's going to be flying on a, a J1799 motor. It's a 28 pound, five and a half inch diameter, 11 foot tall rocket. And it was built to withstand the force of an M motor. Brian flew this rocket over 10,000 feet in Mach 1.3 on his level three certification flight. Today it's flying on an Aerotech J1799 Wart 9 motor, which is a hammer. It'll produce 450 pounds of thrust for six tenths of a second. It has two onboard flight computers to control the recovery parachute, which will de deploy around 750 feet. It's also carrying an onboard high definition camera that will film the flight. So, smile. Five, four, three, two, one, launch. It was more powerful than your Camaro for that long. <laughs> There's the first deployment event. There's the second deployment event. Third. Third. Looks like this guy's about to have his rocket crash. And the rocket is down. That's probably Let's go to our next rocket. This is a PML AMRAM built by Mitch Guess. It's a half-scale model of the AIM-120 AMRAM air-to-air missile used by the military in launch fighter aircraft. This rocket was built by the Novar Rocket what? Club to be used in high power missile. rocket demonstrations like this one. Its payload today is a high definition video camera to film the flight. It's being flown today by Novar member Mitch Guess and will use a Cesaroni H120 motor. Five, four, three, two, one, launch. There's the deployment event at Apogee. That's gonna take 10 years to fall. You know what we need to do next year? We need to make something where when, when the light shoots out, okay, when, you know, it separates, the weight slides in the front, makes it, the front end drop. Unlike our last rocket, this rocket uses only a single recovery event. So this is the configuration it will remain in until it hits the ground. Excuse me, land softly. down very nice next up is a large wet red and white rocket named Redbird that was designed and built by Brian Sparkman it's four inches in diameter nine and a half feet tall it weighs 16 pounds and it's flying on an Aerotech J500 green motor which will have a distinctive green flame so be sure to look for that it'll loft the rocket to about 1700 feet the dual flight computers on board will deploy the main parachute at 500 feet and an onboard GPS telemetry system will be transmitting coordinates real time back to Brian via a data link on amateur radio channels. Four, three, two, one, launch. We'll be looking for a deployment event at Apogee. There it is. That's pretty. There should be a second deployment event in just a few seconds as the rocket passes through 750 feet. And there it is. That's pretty cool. We should go one like that. I don't think they'd let me get certified. Next up is the Blue Phoenix. It's a high performance rocket designed and built from Blue Tube, which is an alternative to the fiberglass body tube used by many high performance rockets. The Blue Phoenix is flown on large K motors to altitudes well over a mile carrying a video camera and GPS tracking. Today's flight by Tim Bookwalter will be on a more modest I-136 motor and will recover with dual deployment. The unique fin design and red flame from the Aerotech Redline propellant will make this a lot of fun to watch. Will it, Bob? Five, four, three, two, one, launch. 
Deployment is designed to reduce the amount of walking recover, required to recover the rocket after the flight. Any minute now, there's the second event. That's nice. Very nice flight. Thanks, guys.